Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, we're looking at a KZ Sportsman 180 THT, a hybrid toy hauler on one axle. Now you see the special feature on the 180 THT, room for two extra people. Okay, so we're looking at the KZ Sportsman 180 THT, the exterior. And notice it has a 20 pound pro paint tank, also the battery, and you're using sway control. Yes. And what do you tell yours with? Uh, Toyota Tacoma. So we, you have jacks on all four corners, the stabilizers, and I see your black tank and your gray tank connect to one, so that's good. Fresh fill, city water, 30 amp electric. This is the spray yeah, for inside. Yeah. And this is what makes it unique. The fact that you can pop this out exactly. yeah. Yeah, and sleep only, another person or two. The only hybrid toy yeah. hauler that's single axle. Yeah. I do like that it's a uh, lightweight. Yeah. So you do have the screen in the back. Yep. And there's the ramp. And the awning is a hand? No, no, it's electric. Electric awning? Yep. Okay. Yep. And two steps. It has steps. controls inside and outside. And the speakers are up on the wall. So you can control the awning inside or outside? Yeah, over here is the um, outside controls. It also has controls for the lights. Oh, okay. Oh, so everything's right there in the board. Yeah, the lights are, they have three settings, one medium and high. So you have the LED strip. So that's nice, keeps kind of the bugs away. Oh yeah. yeah. And you can put the TV out here too. Yeah, I see that. So you got the TV out here, you got cable, 110 volt, the heater. Is that path through yeah, storage? All the way through. And we got the Fury and solar charge. You have solar panels or no? Oh uh, no, I don't. Okay. So of course oh, you got it packed up, but it does go all the way yep. through. Okay. Do you care if we go inside and check it out? Okay, so I'm gonna start in the front. It looks like about a queen bed on the bottom. Uh, pretty close, yeah. Yeah, I think it's longer, but other than that, okay. it's the same. Queen bed, a little bit longer, and of course you do have the escape window there, and then this is the top bunk that you can put another person up here. And that vent, by the way, is because it's a toy hauler that brings the air in, so it keeps. Shows you that dry bath. That's yeah. nice. So the shower is separate from the toilet, which I know for my wife it is a necessity. <laughs> you got the uh, the ventilation fan. You have a sink, stove. Is this a microwave or a convection microwave? Microwave, just regular. Okay, your stereo system. Yeah speakers, some cabinets down below, and of course there's your heater. Have you been in camping oh, yeah, in the cold? It, it works in the winter. I mean, you might get chilly depending Out on the there, air. Yeah. But I actually enjoy it more. Okay, and you got the Furion yep. TV and the table. Do you find... Yeah, this table can go anywhere you want. Okay. So I, I move it over here to eat. Okay. And back for storage. So how much do you really use that table or or most of the time you're eating outside? Um, well in winter camping in here outside okay. in the summer. Yeah. Of course here is the the tent that folds open. So you don't have to use that. It's just no. if you have extra people exactly. or you want some extra storage or something. Yeah, it really all folds up. Um, yeah. And this will also jackknife down? Yeah, this folds down. Or okay. The bikes in. All the way up. Okay. And then you, you have four tie downs. So we do have the tie downs. You have four of them, so let me. So that's about eight feet. So with this section in here, you actually could put a dresser in here, you know, a larger dresser. 
Nice. Now you have the larger refrigerator. Yeah, this this, this has all the options, including the large fridge and the big tires. And yeah. Uh, the uh, if you get the small fridge, you get the air conditioner yeah. above. When my issue is, for it to fit in my garage, mm -hmm. I can't have that rooftop unit. Okay. So I need the side in, air conditioner, which yeah. means I get the smaller fridge. Yeah. But then I can store it indoors. Oh, I don't yeah. have to leave it outside. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good. And how long have you owned it? Uh, a year. A okay. Year and, a month. and anything you wish you had added or not added? Or? Um, I mean, no, I think it's pretty good the way it is. Okay. And what's this? Oh, um, those are just little speakers. Light lights. Oh, night lights. Those are, they come up. Well, Jonathan talked to a company called Bolted On, who makes a system, a toolless system for your front wheel of your motorcycle, the wheel chuck. Uh, if you remember a video I made of mine, you saw I had individual wheel chucks. Uh, but here we have one that's removable. And I put the tape down so you can see in this particular um, trailer how much room you have for the bike. So here is the system. And you can see it'll tighten right down on the D-rings. And of course he has it set up for two bikes. He has two dirt bikes he rides in here. Uh, I would have mine set up in the center for just one bike. And you can see we have about 100 inches to the very back of the uh, trailer. So worst case scenario, if you needed a little more room than that, we could probably have something custom built that would you know, take out a little more space in here. But it it definitely is a great idea. I can I can it's see why you use oh, yes, something that, like that. It's a very good solution. Has, you you know, have all the upgrades. You have yeah. the air conditioning upstairs, you got the big, big tires. These are the upgrades. Yeah. So you, I would recommend the rear vision. It would be a nice convenience. I've thought about buying yeah. it. Yeah, it is really nice. I think that's probably the unit I'm gonna end up with. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. It helps me out a lot. Also, give the video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell, and you'll know every time I put up a new video. But more important than that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.